All righty, people are packing downtown Savannah for one of the biggest St. Patrick's Day celebrations in the country. That's right. If you're going out this weekend, our Larry Sproul's downtown with the preview. He has everything you need to know. Larry. That's right, Kevin and Jennifer. I'm here live in City Market, and you might as well call us the St. Patrick's Day Information Center. We have it all here. Whether you're new to Savannah or you live here, we have it all to make your do's and your don'ts of this holiday weekend a huge success. Now, we're talking about parking. We're talking about road closures and, most importantly, your wristbands. Jonalyn Foster and Latonya Taylor's first time in the Coastal Empire, and they plan on making this weekend a great one. That's why they call themselves Girls Gone Green. Green is for, well, St. Patrick's Day, and Foster says her group of 41 girls are ready for the party. I made 300 jello shots just for the occasion. Yes, you heard her, 300. And it's an occasion both Foster and Taylor have been waiting for for a while. But before that happens, you'll need an alcohol wristband. The city of Savannah is selling wristbands for anybody planning on drinking in the entertainment zone. That area is East Broad Street, the Savannah River on the north, Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard on the west, and Broughton Lane to the south from MLK to Drayton Street, where it moves north to Bay Lane. You can just walk on the street with your drink and you won't get stopped. They say buying a wristband is a good idea. Yeah, five dollars is not bad at all. Well, I'm, I'm not a heavy drinker. I'm a light drinker, so I, I'll be the one probably taking care of everybody else. <laughs> but yes, I will be having a few. <laughs> Now, there are 20 wristband stations throughout the downtown area like this one right here. Now, a couple of things to remember about buying the wristbands. You do not need to buy a band to enter the entertainment zone. It's only needed to drink alcohol in that area. Also, you do not need a band in restaurants or bars. But remember, for not wearing a wristband fee, the cost is $67 plus court fees. So you definitely... Do not want to pay that at all. But for now, reporting here live here in City Market, I'm Larry Sproul, WJCL News, working for you.